also at 1 o'clock on flowfootball.com and Cox, your view. Towson will be on the road to take on William & Mary. Mm-hmm. The Tigers right in the thick of playoff contention, but run into a Tribe mm-hmm. team that has now won two in a row and playing their best football down the stretch. Yeah, both of these teams come into Saturday's contest riding two-game winning streaks mm-hmm. and plenty of momentum. Towson's offense has averaged 31 points and better than 450 yards over the past two weeks. Now, everyone knows what a weapon quarterback Tom Flacco is with his arm and his feet, but the key during the winning streak has been the resurgence of the Tigers' running game with E.D. Thanrat and Adrian Feliz Platt combining for 291 yards in the last two weeks to provide balance with that passing attack. Now, Towson's defense forced three big turnovers at Stony Brook, but more importantly, slowed down the Seawolves' rushing attack, which will be crucial for them again this week. And William & Mary rolled past Rhode Island 55-19 last Saturday by piling up a season-high 580 total yards, including a school record 462 on the mm-hmm. ground. It was the third straight week that the Tribe has rushed for over 200 yards as the rotation of Bronson Yoder, Owen Wright, and Donovan Lester has combined with speedy quarterback Hollis Mathis to create a formidable attack. And William & Mary's defense has been improved in the past few weeks, especially against the run, and last week the unit created four first-half turnovers that resulted in 21 points. Veteran defensive back Corey Parker, who has 63 tackles and ranks second in the league with 10 pass breakups, will be key in trying to slow down Flacco and company. Mm-hmm.